So today's lunch we have homemade soup consisting of leek, potato, a little bit of carrot, and for protein we have some. Uh, show you there some butter beans. Oof. There's garlic in it. Um, some herbs, coriander. Wow. Is there kale in it as well? No kale. No. That's it. So. Oh my god. Local brown bread. Leeks. Is it leeks? Leek and uh, potato. Woohoo! Potato, yeah. Oh, really good, really nice. <laughs> a good catch, Stephen. Uh, yeah, sounds amazing. <laughs> wow. Here on Sheep's Head for you today. I know the weather's with you anyway, so that's a good thing. I'm not sure about that. The sun is coming out slowly. The right. gods will smile on you, girl. Yeah. They will. They will. <laughs> Have a good journey now, and we'll see you tomorrow. All right. Thank you. God willing. <laughs> Welcome to West Cork. I'm on the Sheep's Head Peninsula. I've never been down here before. And I've decided to take the cameras with me today. I haven't had them out in a couple of months, uh, so it's going to be—it's going to take me a little while to get used to remembering how to work them. Um, I dropped into two friends, Stephen and Owen, childhood friends from Dublin, who've moved, hopefully temporarily, down to West Cork. Um, so they entertained me and fed me and uh, I left my car with them in the little place that they live in called Ballylicky and they drove me to the start of the Sheep's Head Peninsula. My plan is just to cycle as far as I can get today um, down to the head of the peninsula hopefully. I'm crossing over from one side to the other um, so I'm in a bit of a valley here. Um, I've had to do some climbs already. Oh, there's a hill in front of me again now. Um, yeah, looking forward to the day and just relaxing into it a little more. totally underestimated how hilly this peninsula is. It's so nice though, I'm up high above the water. Um, I just thought I, I actually made two little modifications since I last had the Brompton in a video. I got some Aragon Grips GP3. I'm liking them. actually changed the chain ring from a standard, the standard 50 tooth to a 40 tooth. So that's helping me a bit more for sure on the hills. 
on the last there's a little trail to get towards the lighthouse I'm not sure how far I'm going to be able to bring the bike Let's see if I can show you the trail and I've just realised um, I need to pick up water just about a house there so I'm going to dump the bike here and run back and get some water ask those people if they'll give me some water hopefully there's someone home it's hopeful but a car anyway hmm the sheep are home no joy in that house there's another two houses here I'm gonna chance my arm at to success I managed to find a, a tap outside one of these houses there's a little coffee shop but it's closed um, so thank god of these houses down this far it totally went out of my head as I was trying to negotiate those hills for the last while um, oh this is fabulous <laughs> so I'm just going to walk along and probably if I see anywhere suitable to pitch the tent, I'll throw it up and then I can walk on further and not have to be dragging my gear around. Good old Brampton. Home sweet home. I'm in a bit of a dip here so I'm quite protected from the breeze or the wind but what a place to be camping for the night. after eight o'clock on a Sunday morning on a very hot Sunday morning on Sheep's Head Peninsula. This fog is in for the day it seems uh, so limited filming to try show the place off unfortunately. Um, yeah, I'm glad I got some decent weather yesterday evening. It was quite overcast for most of the day. Um, but I, yeah, I felt like I was able to capture a little bit of this end of the peninsula with the weather when it cleared up. Um, I just wanted to tell you a little story. If you've watched this video this far, <laughs> um, I'm going to share a little story. So in 2015, I got a breast cancer diagnosis and that's also the year that I started wild camping. Um, and
and my sister Alwyn actually died that same year as well of cancer um, and I've no doubt that those two events had a big impact on, on me kind of making the most of, of life um, making the most of my life um, not saying that I always do that but at least somewhere in my consciousness a lot of the time I think um, so 10 days ago I got another breast cancer diagnosis it's not the same cancer it's a different cancer um, and I debated on whether to say this to camera um, but just in case I do make videos in the future or in the coming year I might look a bit different <laughs> Um, so I just decided to share that with my virtual YouTube friends um, and I suppose anyone who watches Brompton videos will know that um, it's a strong likelihood for women who own a Brompton to get breast cancer <laughs> um, for a second time um, yeah so it's just nice to be able to get out um, this weekend I've been out a lot, but uh, nice to get out with the camera as well. Um, and tomorrow I'm actually meeting a consultant again and to find out uh, the results of further scans that were done and probably the final treatment plan. Um, and I've no doubt that um, the coming year will be a little different and will impact my life um, in hopefully positive ways as well. Um, we all know breast cancer treatment has come on so much. My own mother died of breast cancer when she was 45. <clears throat> um, but uh, yeah, some people don't come through this, and plenty do. And we'll see what cards I'm dealt with. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just it's lovely to be able to get out like this in a and just have some time with myself. Um, we'll see what the next year brings. Thanks a million. I've never been known for my cautious side. You should know that I'm well aware. I don't want anything left untried. Will you come with me, Mom? So let us just. I'm on the final straight now, on my way to Duras, where I'm going to meet my camera shy friends from yesterday, Stephen and Owen. They're going to pick me up. I'm just leaving Ahagista, which, if that's how it's pronounced, which is Graham Norton country, I believe. Uh, it's just still very kind of grey. It's it's a lot clearer than it was earlier on this morning just really pleasant to 
be taking my time cycling along. So thanks for watching another video. Talk to you again. Bye bye.